Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we started with the random module in Python and I demonstrated the use of rand method of random module to generate a random number. Today we are going to cover rand method in detail. So let's get started. Let me just write Python 3, hit enter. Now I'm going to import NumPy as NP and let's start our discussion on rand function or the rand method. So the rand method returns random number or numbers or I can say that random sample or samples of type float between 0 and 1. So it return random samples of type float between 0 and 1. So samples are taken from a uniform distribution. This is a very important point. So it returns random samples of type float between 0 and 1 and samples are taken from a uniform distribution. We have a lot of distributions of different kinds and this rand function takes samples from a uniform distribution. So the syntax is x equal to np.random.rand as discussed in the previous lecture. Now we have to print x to get a random number between 0 and 1. So now what if we want more than one sample. So this example generated one random number. Now what if I want an array of random numbers between 0 and 1 and the samples which belong to a uniform distribution. So the syntax is np.random.rand and I need to specify the number of samples. So now let's generate five random numbers of type float between 0 and 1. So the syntax is x is equal to np.random.rand and I need to pass 5 as parameter denoting that we are going to generate 5 random numbers. So I got the result. So we get a list as a result. Now let's generate a 2D array or a matrix with the help of rand method and all the values of that matrix will range between 0 and 1. They will be random and they will be the samples of a uniform distribution. Now I just need to write x equal to np.random.rand and I need to pass rows as well as columns and I need to print x. So I got the result as a square matrix because I have passed equal number of rows and columns but you can pass different parameters like less value of row and more value of column or vice versa. So we got a matrix as a result with five rows and five columns. So now there is an assignment for you. Create a matrix with the help of rand method of two rows and one column. So in today's lecture, we covered the rand method of the random module in detail. That will be all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.